And now, a Forex conversation. Um, the way I would like look at someone or any any in any niche, I would look for like credibility, like and not just off of their words. I would look more so at what they're trying to show us. And so that's why I call people, you know, fake gurus, because it's like this person is just showing this, but they're not giving like any value. And it's and it just seems like the only value they tend to give is simply like, you know, lifestyle, <laughs> lifestyle, the cause. Yeah. And that's why I show that in multiple videos of mine. And yeah, it's just so <laughs> it's so obvious. But to the to the newbies, as I like to call them, or new people that are just coming into Forex or any niche whatsoever, they don't know this. They they just see their dreams and whatever that person says, they will believe it. And anything they 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 say can nothing go against it, no matter yes. what. <laughs> so, I agree. I agree. And I think I think there is to be completely fair <clears throat> within this industry, there is a lot of stuff that's too good to be true. You know, it, it's, it's, there's a lot of false reality. Um, and I think that unfortunately myself included, man, when I first got into this stuff, I was gullible, right? Like I would see somebody <laughs> who was driving the car or, you know, uh, showing the cash and I'd be like, wow, man, they must know what they're doing in trading. And I think that the sad thing, the sad reality is that doesn't necessarily mean that they made that money from trading, right? Which is kind of kind of scary, right? And um, you know, the thing is, like, there, there's nothing wrong with uh, selling services or or doing things, especially if you have some form of proof that you actually do what you say that you do. Uh, but I think that yeah, a lot of people take the the Lambo as the proof. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. How did you first get involved with like forex, and like, what made you start taking the stance of like, okay, let me. Let me start trying to to talk about this and show some of the the reality from the from the unreality. What got you started? <laughs> well, um, it started back three years ago, three to four years ago, um, okay. and I was just doing research. You know how we trying to find something to do that is like besides a nine to five. So that's how I got like you know started up, and um, it was actually my uncle, my uncle, which is much older than me. And I was looking at, you know, your Jeremy Cash. I was looking at all these YouTubers mm -hmm. and my uncle was telling me they are nothing but entertainers. I'm, and I never understood it. I never got in it. I, I never understood it. It never made sense to me because I believe everything they said. And then once I started to put things together, like now yeah. it's just like, how can I do this to put everything together. And so that's why I do the edits that I do. That's why I put pieces together so that people that don't know no better could like eventually see what I'm talking about instead of just, you know, talking, talking and talking and nothing else. And so I would rather, I'd rather show it other than saying it myself. Okay. They're a scam, blah, blah, blah. But if, if you don't see the evidence, you won't believe it. And so sure. that's the cool thing. Yeah, sure. And it's hard to do, man. Like the thing is, right, the, the biggest issue that I have with the industry is that there's that there's that idea of making a lot of money quickly from a small amount of money. The problem is when you actually ask anybody for performance, track records, whatever like that, like some people, the real ones have them. Uh, the real ones will be able to show you a MyFX book link. They'll be able to show you uh, a real account that they're logging into and and you know, they're, they're professional broker and things like that. Like the real people can show you. The difference is uh, if someone is saying that they can turn a thousand dollars into 5,000 into 10,000 and, and doing that, and you ask them to drop some form of proof, no <laughs> chance, right? Like you might get lucky. You might be able to flip an account once and be like, look, I did this and, you know, film that just to show that piece of the trading that worked out. But the reality is long-term steady growth in an account is the name of the game in my view and and you know probably in your view and a lot of people who you know there there are some real traders out here there are some real people with genuine value on youtube um i have a lot of trading friends and a lot of content creating friends that uh you know i've, I've collabed with and that's why we do this we, we try and build a network of of um, reputable people that are in the industry so i think uh you know the, the biggest thing is the, the realest way to recognize real right off the bat is if someone's talking about making 
big money or quick returns or like <laughs> flipping accounts. That's such a red flag. You know what I mean? I guess I, I maybe an indicator that I can add uh, that I personally look for when I look for because uh, because like I said, we have a we have like a Forex news media business. Like we bring on individuals onto our channel, kind of like we're doing this on my on our second channel, A1 Trading. We bring on educators and people that we sort of vet before they come on. And what we tend to look for are people who are uh, as follows. FTMO funded. They have <laughs> my textbook accounts. Uh, they are not preaching get rich quick stuff. They're they're keeping it real. So um, I think the number one thing, honestly, is if someone can drop you a link to performance for six months, a year, two years, if they can drop you anything like that, or they can show that they're FTMO funded, or they can show you that they're logging into real accounts and placing real trades and can prove it to you. Those are huge, huge green flags or green lights, you know, to, to listen to somebody and still doesn't mean that you should just be, you know, taking what they say as, as the truth all the time, you know, but exactly. what are you going to say? It looks like you're going to add something. Yeah, I got something to add because um, don't just trust MT4. <laughs> I have That's to say, yep. don't just trust MT4 because MT4 can be easily manipulated. I yeah. can show you how easy it yep. is. Like yeah, they can set up uh what they can set up what like fake uh what is it um fake servers is that right yeah fake fake yeah. servers and all yeah. that stuff you, you know and that's what the fake gurus love to show you they love to show you nothing but empty why, right. why the same platform why like right. why the same platform and here's why because it can be easily manipulated and they like I would I would rather them show their broker statement like on the broker webs on the website to where you can go to your recent yep. trades and your your profits off of it. Why not show the broker side of it instead of <laughs> an MT4 slip? Like I don't I don't trust right. them. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. That's true. And it definitely uh, is more easily manipulated with brokers that are like unre unregulated or like sketchy yeah. because what what some and I don't know, I, I've i never looked into this stuff on someone else or anything like that. But I can imagine that somebody who has like big ties with some really sketchy broker could probably do something like that. But if somebody's trading on something that's like super regulated, a super regulated broker is not going to take on massive lawsuit potential and liability for you to fake an account. So if someone's using a regulated broker, huge green light as well. If someone's using uh, OANDA or Forex.com or one of the US regulated ones um, and they show you an account and ain't no way they're going to fake an account for you to, to do that stuff. And I don't know, I, I don't even use, I, I trade on TradingView because I use OANDA. So I'm not exactly sure if you can fake like a, you, you can fake a lot of stuff, man. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. Th this always kind of rings true to me. Like, if someone's showing you a lifestyle, you kind of have to ask yourself, why? Like, why is someone on the internet showing me their like super expensive, whatever, whether it be a car or a house, like whatever, like, why are they showing me that? Right. And like I said, I, I have no issue with, with people selling things, if they can show proof, whatever, like, but the thing is, if someone is showing you exotic luxuries and things like that as their proof, that's where it's like, okay, you're you're like referencing yourself for your own proof. Like it doesn't really make sense. You know what I mean? Uh, I know plenty of, of great traders. Uh, I've been learning enough myself. I can tell you that trading is not a way to, to get rich quick. Trading is a way to grow money over time. And it's, it starts for almost everyone as a side hustle first as a side income, you know, and it builds more over time. I, I agree 100%. But that's why um, a lot of people would go to funded accounts, yeah. even though they really never even had no practice. It's like straight newbies listening to fake gurus and these new strategies, <laughs> these cookie cutter strategies that they just made no longer <laughs> than a month ago. Mm -hmm. And they're already selling it to you. And so the newbie that bought the course, they're going to go try that strategy with the funded account because it's much bigger. They're ever oh, able to get yeah. And earn more money faster. So yeah, yeah, man. And that's that's a whole nother thing. Is I wish that uh, you know the, the one thing I will say about like funded programs in general. Funded programs, they're not going to do you any good if you don't already have success on your small account. There's no shame in taking a, a two hundred dollar, five hundred dollar account, whatever you've got, and you're starting out. 
prove it to yourself, you know, trade for six months. And if you see yourself starting to work into the right direction, you know, you start seeing marginal progress and then you make the decision, I'm going to take the, I'm going to take the risk, try and get funded and, and continue to trade this strategy. Uh, you know, that's, that's a decision that you can make that's way more educated than just, you know, taking someone else who gave you this, this cheat code on the internet or whatever, <laughs> and just trying to apply it and make your money quick. You know, that's, that's definitely, um, I wish more people would go the slow and steady route. I think that's the only way exactly. really everyone else blows <clears throat> up. If people were to go the slow route and, you know, not risk so much and not have to over leverage, they would make it be patient with the process and not, so, not try to, you know, go at it and try to get the money fast. If you try to get the money fast, you're more liable to fail and blow your account. If yes. you on a slow route, you're, you know, even if you were to take a loss, you are still going to end up profitable. <laughs> so right. yeah, that's, that's what it all. Yeah. Boils. And that's the, that's the big thing is, you know, I, I talk about it on my channel and I'm not going to lie, man, like uh, talking about risk management and keeping position sizes small and, all that stuff has not earned me the number one popularity list. You know, <laughs> I've been in the game for a little while. I've been making content on YouTube. Like I understand that that stuff doesn't sell as much. You know, it doesn't sell as much as uh, change your life with Forex, trade with me. I'll, I'll show you how to do it and all this. Like uh, that, that dream stuff really, really sells. And that's the, that's the scary part too, is that a lot of um, influencers go down that path because it's the path of, you know, big, big audiences, big followings very quickly. And I, and I, I you know, I'm, I'm blessed to have following. You've got a following as well. You know, you start getting your following built and you're, you're feeling good. Um, but it definitely feels better when you know it's not based on trying to, you know, uh, go after, you know, get rich quick ideas and things like that to, to sell people on a dream, stuff like that. So I don't know, man, there are definitely good content creators, but a lot of them are smaller. Uh, a lot of them are, um, you know they're they're just not as as flashy and as exciting so they don't get seen as much but exactly. uh, they do exist man they do exist if you really want to become get better with trading do not take signals simple as that do not take signals because the more signals you take the less value you're the less value you have in this niche because you're just a signal taker you're not really mm -hmm. learning how or why they're getting into these trades but you're just Going off what they say, if they come come in at New York or Asian or any session, London, and send you a trade, you're going to just enter that trade automatically without right. even trying to see or have any sort of confirmation or guidance of why they got in this, into this trade. Just yeah. We're definitely yeah. on the same page with that. I am not a fan of signals services in general. Now, I, I do actually share my trades in the form of like trade alerts. But the difference and the thing that's valuable to me with that is myself and, and we have two other uh, FTMO funded traders that do that within our group. Um, when we do that, it is not a, hey, I'm shorting this. You should go short this. It's actually what we do. Yeah, not, not about that. No, what we do is like, okay, if I take a trade, I treat it like my journal. Like every trade that I take, I do like a full write up on like, here's the fundamental breakdown. Here's the technical breakdown. Here's the sentiment analysis here's the place that I'm entering and here's why I'm placing my stop loss here. It's not, I'm taking this trade. Now you go take it. It's I'm taking this trade and here's why take that as you will make your own decision, go do your research, do your, do your back testing, all that stuff. I think going back to our red and green uh, flags mm -hmm. is, uh, is just key, man. If you feel right about somebody, give them a try, you know, as long as they, as they seem genuine, but don't fall for any of the hype, anything that feels too good to be true in this industry certainly is like no question it is. How could people find you if they want to see more tips or, or uh, concepts from you, whether you're, you're doing videos or uh, whatever you've got. Yeah. I know you have a YouTube channel. How can people find you? Um, my name is exotic wealth on YouTube and exotic wealth X on Instagram. And cool. that's where you can reach me. DM me. Let me know. <laughs> cool. That's how you can reach me. Yeah. Cool, man. Yeah. So you guys go throw him a uh, subscribe on YouTube and follow him on Instagram. Check him out. Uh, and uh, I appreciate your time, man. This has been awesome. Thank you. What's up, guys? Thanks for watching today's video. There are more videos available on our channel here and here. So go ahead and click into that for some more free trading content. With that said, thanks for watching. We'll see you back next time.